Hey, beauty babes. Whoop. It is Sunday. Baby church was good. It was Sunday. Pastor Torrey preached. In my young dog voice, he preached. Okay. Um, Today is October the 13th. And, oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Did I say it's Sunday? Y'all know what it means, right? Sunday. You know what that means? New vlog. Whoop. New week. New goals. And new opportunities. <laughs> That's what that is. And, by the way, if you're new here, welcome to Vibing with Bridget Harrison my beauty fashion and lifestyle channel woo, woo. now if you haven't make sure to subscribe turn on notifications and join the text community at 972-433-9907 972-433-9907 join the family you texted me i text back it's just like uh, hey sis hey girl hey all that what, what was that link bridget or whatever the case is or sis can you just pray for me whatever it is y'all join the family and when you're texting no one is responding but me so it's not spam i'm not spamming you i promise but anyways y'all pastor Torre preached today he said you are what the world is missing let me make sure that sounded so good let me make sure that's what he said the name of the sermon is yeah you know what if you really like pastor Torre's style of preaching um i was like this is not the note like what is this hold on uh you are what's missing you are what's missing you are what's missing that's what he said <laughs> Baby, let me tell you, Pastor Torrey, he be like, like Pastor Torrey is an entrepreneur. Like, it's just his style of teaching is different. It's like kind of straight to the point, but at the same time, get lit crunk. But he, like his, I don't know, as an entrepreneur, it just resonates really well with me. I just like his style of teaching as an entrepreneur. Um, And he was like, I was going to speak to the sheep, but the Lord taught him to speak to the shepherd. You know, he's all about leadership. Like he, yeah. So anyways. The Word was good. Y'all go check that out on YouTube. Type in. Go to, to thepottershouse.com. Someone was like, you could link it. Baby, let me tell y'all. I would link it, but by the time I finish linking and putting this video together, your girl be tired and trying to get to the next thing to do. Happy Monday. It is October the 14th. Look where I am, y'all. Uh, I do not be closing my curtains good. I need to go close that curtain. Anyways, I am in here in the creator room, the beauty room, the work room, the editing room, the fashion room, the trial hall room. I'm in a room to do work. No, I'm just outside. It is Monday. Um, I think I just said it's the 14th. And y'all, I've just been chilling today. Like... I cannot wait till I get back to where I have my Mondays, my Sunday and Monday, like really to myself, to where I'm not thinking about, um, um, somebody emailing me to where like, I just lay in the bed all day. Like I want to have a day or uh, whatever the case is. But yeah, so this what's going on. I'm here. I've been praying. I have been talking to God. That's what I've done a lot of. I had made me, um, I had leftovers. I had cooked some shrimp and french fries yesterday. So I made that again. I made me some french fries, which were delicious. I don't know. It's this brand from Kroger's. Their frozen fries are delicious. They cook. They taste good. Everything. Because sometimes some people frozen fries don't be good. But um, I had lunch and um, slash dinner because I'm not hungry right now. And that's, I just really been talking to God. Oh, oh, I've been talking to God. But also, y'all found some beds that I like um which we won't do any of that until after I move but I found some beds I and I found some beds on sale like I think I'm gonna like like um when I seen the beds I was like you know I'm, I kind of want to go in a different direction with my room but I don't know so it's like I always want an aesthetics but I don't want I don't know we're gonna see because even at the salon, I want to kind of switch some up. I've been there a year. I want to add some, um, the wild things or some paper. So, I don't know. So, that's neither here nor there. We're not worried about the salon right now. But, I did find some beds at Wayfair. I think. 
I've been on Amazon, but the ones on Wayfair, y'all, they had a really good sale. So I'm hoping they stay on sale. I am um, till I can buy it because <laughs> moving, you know, I got to get some movers and stuff. That's a whole nother. But um, I think it's seven. It's like seven o'clock, y'all. And I think what I'm going to do is, because I've been here, I ain't been doing nothing. I'm going to start the beginning of my video, edit a day or two um and see how that goes so and then go in the living room watch tv i want to get in the bed um probably by 10 11 and go to sleep the only problem is y'all when i go to sleep like that i wake up like at three o'clock in the morning um uh, so hopefully i go to bed and then we're gonna start our getting up at six seven o'clock in the morning And I'm not going to the hair salon. <laughs> but we're going to do it because we got a lot of stuff. I feel like I should be able to, like, if I get up and come, like, it takes me, like, between reading the Bible, getting ready. And I ain't even working out yet. But to come downstairs, like, in an hour, hour and a half once I get up. And then, like, make me, like, some toast or something. I really feel as if um, I do that. Like, by 12 o'clock, I have been had a whole bunch of stuff done. And then, the second half of the day, yeah. So, that's what we're going to do. Um, that's it. Y'all, I've just been chilling. And I was looking at my vlog. Uh, I've been thinking, like, how can I make better content? How can I make better content on Instagram? That's so just like, God, talk to me. Like, God, what are we doing? Like, what are we doing in the hair salon? What are we doing here? What are we doing there? And I get to ask him a bunch of questions, and he slowly answers me, whether it's the preacher, somebody else, or something. So that's that. And, um, yeah, that's what we got going on. So it's not too much going. Uh, y'all say I got on my, y'all know when I have on these pink pajamas, Victoria's Secret pajamas, y'all. I swear when I get some extra money, I get some, just a smidge of extra money. I'm going to Victoria's Secrets, and we're going to re-up on us some new pajamas. But y'all know it's going to be the holidays, and I like my pants, too, so we'll see. But that's it like we chilling i'm kind of sleepy i said i was gonna go pop some popcorn i don't know if i want to watch for my man i might find something on tubi to watch oh or bet her bet her bet plus bet plus been dropping some new good stuff so it's something but i'm fixing to get off of here uh like i said it's money ain't too much going on uh, I don't know. I might make me a mimosa. I don't even know if I want a mimosa, y'all. Like, I really, like, the last couple times I drank, it's just like, mm, I don't want to keep wasting bubbly and stuff. Like, I pulled out a half a cup last night, this morning. Like, I'm not drinking it. So, I might drink some of my drink from um, Trader Joe's, the Italian sodas that I be drinking. That is really, really, really delicious. So, it's probably what I drink. Um, and, yeah, that's it. beauty babes hey beauty babes hey beauty babes today is tuesday y'all today is tyrone birthday shout out to tyrone tyrone turns 26 happy birthday tyrone so um let me tell y'all let's talk about this we haven't really i've mentioned it i don't know how many y'all are keeping up with the ysl trial if i was a juror on this trial i would have been a uh Oh my God, like I swear to God, now nah, I ain't gonna go to jail and get in trouble, but I swear, like I would have been got sick or something because baby, the way they got this, these people held hostage, I have watched the trial myself, so I'm not going off of like clips, like I'm watching it, like when I'm over here working, I have it on, I got it on my iPad right here. Y'all, the arguments like the guy, he got shot by one of the other gang members they're bringing in so many like it's like they're bringing in things how am i saying this so the guy got shot right uh only one person was charged it was the drive by whatever but then they want to bring in he was the victim or whatever has nothing to do with this trial but just all oh, because the other member of the gang shot him it's just been the stupidest like i ain't no lawyer I ain't no attorney y'all know i do hair and makeup and put on some clothes right but you know, I ain't no rocket scientist, but 
Fulton County is looking real dumb right now. Like, I'm, I'm just asking where is Rico. Like, I am familiar with cases. First of all, I watch a lot of crime TV, just that alone and just in real life. Like, you know, when the feds come pick you up, like, Young Dolph, uh, may he rest in peace, his trial was over in a week. They had th 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 done. Guilty. I don't know what the boy got. I don't know if he's been sentenced or what, but done. <laughs> we still over here. Like, it's like, anyways. It's just, it's, I'm thinking of taxpayers' money. The jurors have not been to work. We on a day, I think this today is 144 days. 144 days. That's 90 days. 144 days? That's a long time. Like, picking the jury. They've been doing this, and I feel like at the end of this, it's going to be a bunch of repercussions. The Fulton County is looking real dumb right now. And it's like, all this stuff is going on. The other day, they was like, the dude on the phone was calling Young Thug scary. Like, oh, he's scary. How's the crime boss scary? The crime boss ain't scary. He he he, young, rich, young nigga. He don't give us no money. Blah, blah, blah. Like, how's he scary? Like, how's it like the man that's running? Okay, anyways. That's not what we're here to talk about. So, I just made me some peanut butter toast. That's my new thing. Y'all told you the nutritionist was like, I need to eat. Now, made me some green tea. I haven't had no green tea in a few days. Oh, they got somebody else new on the scene. Who is this? Oh, I'm sorry. I was like, who is that? But, um, make sure I ain't blurred. Because, baby, I be blurred. So, I was like, well, how am I blurred? And I be trying to move the thing back. But, baby, if I look over there, y'all, I'm still talking to y'all. No. I'm going to get better. But, um, made me some peanut butter toast, which is delish. Cut it in four squares. And then I made me some green tea. I hadn't had any green tea in a few days. I hadn't had any green tea in a minute. I could tell, too. I could like, I like how I feel when I'm drinking some tea. Um. So yes to that and today y'all I supposed to be going to an event. I was like on the phone with Jelly. She was like, Yeah, Bridget, what time you gonna be ready? I was like, for what? Ready? Y'all I got on a pink y'all already know when I got this on. We ain't going nowhere. Ready for what? What's time? I was like, girl, my bad, I'm not going. <laughs> I, you know, it was an event. I would I need some content, but I don't it's a liquor. Bacardi is having something here in Dallas. Y'all, I got enough liquor content. I've been outside the whole month of September. I don't need no lifestyle content. I, I got that. I, if I don't got nothing else, I got that. So I was like, no, I need to sit at home and finish editing and do what I need to do. And because tomorrow I want to film and do what I need to do as for filming. So, um, yeah, I was like, no, I want to finish this vlog and try the next one. Because, y'all, why I woke up and my alarm still going off? Maybe I be I don't know I was not that but I got up I got up earlier. That's the process. We're gonna take it one day at a time. Got up earlier, and yeah. So here we are. So I'm about to uh, oh my tea. I want I like drinking my tea warm. Maybe some warm tea, honey and lemon is no. Nah. I don't know what I'm eating today. I took that bacon out, but I think my salad mix is probably not eatable. I need to look at it, and then I'm not focused on it right now. I just want to work, and that's what I'm going to do. So, I'm going to, um, what time is it? I'm going to take a break about 5. It's 1 o'clock. take a break about 5. Um, and I got a few things on my to-do list I'm going to do first. Um, one of the things I'm doing, I'm adding my mail box i don't have a p.o box but i have a ups box i'm adding it to my um description so if you guys i seen this on the vlog last night this guy i was watching this vlog for this camera so i was like oh duh people do have their p.o box so if y'all want to send me something like products if you're a small business whatever the case is if you're a big company whatever the case is it'll be down in my description moving forward and that's pretty much it so i'm gonna eat uh, drink my tea eat because um i am hungry i don't know if this toast gonna be enough the tea and the toast should be enough i got some water in here too and i'm just gonna get to work i've been praying oh let me tell y'all the prayer i read today i sent it see that's why y'all gotta <laughs> that's why y'all gotta get in the text because i sent it to the ladies in the text i was like good morning what did where my phone at? Let me tell y'all what I read, baby. Oh, y'all. Maybe I should open this email up while we on here together. Let me tell y'all about this text, though, first. Hold on. What I read. Uh, Joyce Myers be eating. 
today she talked about worrying, right? You know, I've had a lot on my mind the last few days. The last week or so, you know, I fast. I fast two weeks in a row. I don't know if I'm going to fast this week, which is good. I was like, maybe I should fast once a week. But I be wanting to fast. Like, I, I don't want it to become a habit or routine. I want it to be something I'm doing and being very intentional with my time I'm spending with God. But I told today, God, today, like, I'm going to talk to you a lot. So, I meant that. Uh, this is the prayer I read. So she talked about worrying and not worrying, blah, 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 right? And at the end of each one of her inserts, she always have a prayer. The prayer was, Father, I don't want to waste my time worrying because I know it doesn't do any good. Help me release my concerns to you so you can take care of me. Thank you in Jesus' name. What? Baby, I put that on my prayer list. Doop, doop, doop. Yeah, the prayer list. Hold on. Because, baby, so y'all can know. She got prayers. This is like in the morning. I used to just get up and be like, oh, God, thank you for waking me up. Baby, I'll be over there talking to God. i be reading my Bible. I told him I read something yesterday I didn't understand. I was like, Holy Spirit. Um, I'm in Matthew. I'm, I'm in Matthew where Jesus is like, like he's become Jesus. Uh, he's about to die and all this stuff. And baby, it was alone. I didn't understand it, but I understood it today a little bit. But I had prayed like, I'm going to read this again tomorrow, which was today. And I was like, Lord. You know, before I read it, like, give me an understanding. The only thing I could tell you what I'm reading from the Bible is the stuff that's happening today was happening in the Bible. I ain't know Judah. I know Judah. Judas. I know he turned on God, on Jesus. I know he told Jesus. Jesus told him, like, yeah, you're going you gonna to sell me out, whatever the case is. But I ain't know he did it for some money, for, for 30 pieces of silver. How did? I was like, oh, so we've been. I don't think I know. It's like the Bible's just saying, telling me, like, the stuff that's been, that's going on now, it's been going on. Yeah, I know I got crunk. I was like, oh, okay. So, and then I did not know. See, the, that's why you got to read the Bible. They talk about him in the church. They talk about him turning on God, on Jesus and all that. But they didn't say he hung himself. Because afterwards he felt bad. Oh, you felt bad. Then he went hung himself. I was like, oh. yeah. So, they didn't talk about that. But, um, and whatever I was, it was long. Y'all was like, what? And I think, um, it was, I don't know. It was something about like, I don't know. I ain't finna lie. I'm going to have to read again. I'm going to have to have somebody else talk about it with somebody else. That's a little bit more biblically uh, uh, experienced than I am because I read it twice and I was like, yeah, I'm going to have to read it again. I understood it a little, but not enough to where I could just be like, yeah, just like I talked about Judas and how he told Peter, you're going to deny me three times. Then Peter realized it. Then he ran away. Baby, just, just. Somebody said, um, I don't know if it was Threads, Facebook, Twitter. Somebody said Jesus had a slick, it was Twitter. They said Jesus had a slick mouth. He did. He stayed saying some real slick. The parables and all was real slick and fly. But anyway, so that's why y'all should be on the text chat because I text that this morning and I hope they help somebody. And I hope while you're listening to this that you're, if you are worrying, if you're concerned about something, y'all just give it to God. If you haven't, try fasting, pray, go to church. Like walking in the church is just a good feeling. Like I, like when I walk into the church, y'all, I swear, whatever's on my mind, it leaves. Whatever's on my back, it leaves. Like for real. So. Good morning. So we're about to do my skincare. Um, today is Wednesday, the 16th, and um, I didn't do it in the shower because all my stuff was downstairs. So I just wanted to kind of explain to you guys instead of just doing it, so um, you could be educated and learn as I learn. So we're gonna start off with a green tea spinach vitamin super cleanse cleanser. Y'all see, I use this. This is my go-to cleanser. Once I put it on, I wear my hands. I make sure I work it through thoroughly. It's antioxidant, has green tea, spinach, vitamins, and it just really does good with cleansing the skin. And as I do my skin, y'all will notice the difference. And what I like, like my skin, it just feels amazing. And it's a little tight feeling. I'm going to go in with my uh, Garnier cleansing water, uh, vitamin C. Like, I use this one or the uh, 
hydrating. And the reason why I'm doing this is again because I haven't been the best at my skincare this week. And I just want to, um, it's like a second cleanse. Just like making sure I got, I get all the dirt, dead skin off my face before layering any products. So now I'm going to go in with the Ordinary Milk Toner. And I'm new to using this, but I love how my skin feels. It says to add, apply with your fingertips or cotton. But I just apply like I apply my other toners. And I did it both ways, and I didn't see a difference. Make sure to put this everywhere. And you'll start to see, like, how my skin is starting to glow. Now we're going to go in with the Dose of Wisdom from Philosophy's um, eye cream, under eye cream. I like to put it on the back of my hand. And this is good for dark circles, fine lines, wrinkles, and things of that nature. And you put it on the side of your nose, up in your eye, up under your eye, and on your lid. And I was using another eye cream, and I noticed that I was starting to have, like, sleep in my eye after using it, so I stopped using it. And if I have any products, I always just work it into my hands. And these right here help the water not run down your arms, like when you're washing your face and stuff. So if you don't do it in the shower, you put these on. That's why I have these on, and they're red. They're really good. They come with these sets. I get them off of Amazon. I like to put my nice side of mine on first. Like, <laughs> I'm out, y'all. Look. It's gone. It's empty. Now, nice side of mine helps with um, texture, pores, I think in hyperpigmentation, if I'm not mistaken. So, this is a brand new bottle. Let's open it together. Uh-oh. And they say, um, and they say you do your thicker serums first to thinnest. But I just like to start off with this one. I could tell I had stopped using it. I'm really good for like, oh, let me not use this and see, can I tell a difference? And I definitely could tell a difference in my skin when I did not use it. Now I'm going with my hyaluronic acid serum. I, this is from The Ordinary. And I like my serums to have some stickiness to it. I don't like my serums. Uh-oh. Feeling and looking like water. Y'all see this bump? I didn't even pick it. And it still left a spot. Ain't that some mess? I could have just picked it. So now I'm going to go in with my moisturizer, which is Pharmacy's Halo. Everything I use is hydrating. Everything I use... It's going to hydrate. It's going to help with minimizing my pores. Uh, I do have hyperpigmentation. Those are the things that I look for in the products when I use it. Um, I need my skin plump. You know, I'm a little mature. I'm a little older. So I want things that's going to help my skin be as smooth as possible and build the barrier around my skin. Now, I ain't going to lie. My nighttime skincare routine could be a lot better. Now, I have the things I need, especially the mask and stuff. I just haven't had the time. I made the time to do it. But we're going to work on that. Give me a second. We're going to work on that. Because I have some really, really, really good products to put on. And when I really do my nighttime skincare routine, like I supposed to, my skin just be immaculate.
what's today? Today is Wednesday. Today is hump day. So it is the 16th. Did I talk, I talk to y'all early? I'm tripping. So I have um my blog dropped early accidentally. So it is what it is. Um my new texting thing, because that's what I be telling y'all to sign up for texting, so I can alert y'all when I drop stuff. It's kind of like cutting out the middleman, because sometimes these apps be tripping, right? But anyways, um, I've been doing it all day, just doing my LinkedIn and things of that nature. Then I realized I hadn't uploaded all of October's content, so I can go into editing that. But your girl got hungry, so I was hungry, and I was like, let me run to the grocery store, but you know... Because I'd be Ubering. I had a list. So I picked up some things. Uh, let me show y'all what I got real quick. We're about to make turkey burgers. I ain't had a ham a ham a hamburger in a minute. I haven't had, I think the last time I had a hamburger was like a um the restaurant that's like Hillsong. They got $10 burgers for happy hour. And you know, I moved. So I really wouldn't mind going over there one day. Let me say that. But um not today or tomorrow because when I finish cooking and eating, go back in there and start editing the next video. Um, so, yeah. So, that's what we got. I cannot. Um, Burton, Britain. I cannot think of that damn restaurant. But it's just like a hillstone, like knockoff to hillstone. So, yeah. So, um, I got some more french fries because we're making french fries. Uh, I'm almost out of the fries that I got the other day because I like them. So we're gonna make egg rolls this weekend. So I bought some uh, broccoli coleslaw mix. It has broccoli and coleslaw in it. And then I got some. Um, I have some egg roll wrappers also that I bought. And these are plant based, y'all. These are really good. I just gotta perfect rolling my egg rolls. Um, it's something I could do this like Saturday or Sunday. Just like I've been really vibing being in the house so it's probably because i was outside so much y'all know I, like i go out and then i come back in the house but baby i was outside outside last month so um and then i bought these mini shrimp so the purpose of me buying these mini shrimp i'm gonna cook them throw them out or whatever but i don't have to cut the shrimp up so i'm gonna see how that goes in the egg roll i'm gonna cook them in the air fryer like i did last time and do that and I got some Wonder Bread. These was $1.99. So I got their Hawaiian buns. As soon as I pick up the camera, my phone starts ringing. Isn't it spam? So they say Hawaiian. They say Hawaiian. So I'll let y'all know. But I was going to put my hamburger on the bread, but I was like, nah, let me make me a really good hamburger. And then I'm almost out of bread. So I got some bread. You know, the whole point is I don't want to be going to the store. Like, even... Car, not. Nah, don't nobody got. I don't want to go in the store like that. So, got some baby mixed greens. Um, I bought some more coconut shrimp. This was on sale, actually. And then I also got some fried shrimp. These was on sale as well because they were not on my list, but I was out. So, I was like, I'm here. I got some turkey, ground meat, ground. I got some ground turkey. So, I don't buy, I eat beef. But I don't buy it. So when I'm at home eating and everything, that's what I use. And hold on, y'all. Let me let me see. Oh. I got some more naked drinks. Um these are really good. And so I bought some of these. I got organic defense and then tropical passion. They had some 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 with some probiotics, but it's time I had some cayenne, pepper, and a little spice. I was like, no, I got mighty mango. And I like to put these in the freezer before I drink them. I got some honey. I ain't honey is hot. I ain't tried this honey before, but I got this. And I got some avocados because I'm definitely gonna put av some avocado on my burger. And if I decide not to put an avocado on my burger, which I it's a 90% chance I will, then I'm gonna put it in my salad. Got a tomato. I ain't need a big old tomato. Like the ro the Roman romaine tomato Roman. Room, uh, whatever it is, it was good enough. And so then, let me just tell y'all, this is what happens when you're going to store hungry. Got some donuts. They was on sale. Yeah, the cookies be cooking, and uh, they had the wrong price around them. I was like, um, this is not what it said back there. These cookies is high. Um, this golf. If y'all are watching my video, y'all 
send me some of these. And then, y'all, this was, I got some Little Debbie snacks, some zebra cakes, and I got some Nutty Bars. Now, I don't think I probably needed the Nutty Bars and the zebra cake, but since I got them, I'm going to eat them. So, your girl done eaten. I've eaten. Your girl done eaten. I've eaten. I'm over here really low key sleepy. But this morning when I was reading and praying, um, make a long story short, I had a situation so that it irritated me. It rubbed me really wrong. And I really was on a like, they don't know who they we <laughs> like on some real like. They really want me to get to cussing people out around here, but um, I'm just not in that place anymore. Every once in a while, you can get a. But I'm just not in a. I'm not. I've never been that person. Just really go bad on people. Now I can use. Uh, I can be very condescending. I can use a tone, but not like that. But I'm not even there. That's just not my thing. So I had a situation. Make a long story short. It's not in my control. It's in all of God's control. It's all of God's control. It's nothing I could do but give it to Him. And I was upset. I was upset for about a good 15 minutes. I was on the phone like, my friend like, oh no, I'm just over it. I've been very patient. Then they ain't going to be satisfied so I get to cussing. And da, da, da. And I was like, mm. And I was talking. I was like, you know what? Because I was supposed to be editing, right? You know, I supposed to be over like this. And I was like, you know what? This is a distraction, sis. She said, mmm. I was like, you know, it's a distraction. You know what? I'm going to turn on my praise and worship playlist. I'm going to talk to God and I'm going to talk to you later. And remember um, when I was reading David, not David, Samuel. I, when I be saying I was reading David, y'all mean Samuel. When I was reading Samuel, how David talked to God about, oh, come on, Holy Spirit. How David talked to God about everything. And I have been in this place since reading Samuel that I make sure before I go talk to anybody else, I talk to God. And if I find myself like, I, I circle back and be like, oh, my bad, God. And, 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 it, and it really helps because talking to him first is better than anything else because it's soothing or whatever. So I was like, yeah, let me get off the phone. I'm going to put on my praise and worship playlist. So I'm steady trying to turn on. I have Sonos. If you're not familiar with Sonos, it's a speaker system. Like all my speakers, I have them hooked up. I have two surround sounds. So much surround sounds. Like I don't say it like that, but I got they stuff. And I got speakers that's how I look, look at my TVs, upstairs, downstairs. I got speaking in the restroom, speaking here. Anywhere I'm at a lot, because y'all know I like music, that's what I have. So I was like steady, like trying to get my sonos after work. And I was like, yeah, girl, I'm going to talk to you later. And I'm steady. And it was steady spinning. So I was like, dang, what's wrong with my app? And then so I was like, yeah, it's a distraction, because that's what the devil wants. He don't want me to listen to praise the worship. He want me to be over here so not focused I can't get my work done. That's what he wanted. And then so I was like, um... I end up turning on Pandora. It took it a seven, but Pandora came out. So I listened to my Kurt Franklin praise and worship playlist. And when I was sitting here, y'all, because I was praying, I had a moment. I was just telling God I was like, not tired, because you know, that man going around like, you know, you say you're tired, you might not wake up. I was just like, God, give me a break. <laughs> Please and thank you. Like, just give me, like, just give me to my after my birthday, just give me a break, Lord. I just really need a break. And I know some of y'all can relate to that because it's like, dang, God. Like, I'm like, go find somebody else to be your stronger soldier. Because, woo, Jesus. So, I was having a moment, but the music that was playing, and I was just talking and asking a bunch of questions. I was just like, dang, God. And the music that was playing, it was like he was answering my questions and pretty much just telling me like it's nothing I can do about this situation it's him it's him and then um like Pastor Mike came on winning it's my winning season like my songs and I just felt like God just really was talking to me through the music that's why you gotta listen to your praise and worship I know y'all be like I don't like that y'all gotta get over what you don't like because we running around here with all this built up anger and we're miserable 
but you talking about what you don't like but you're not getting nowhere because you got all this anger you got all this hate you got all this unforgiveness in you you're not forgiving nobody and we're stagnant because we're not doing the things we need to do to move forward and the most important thing to do all of this talk to god and get that stuff to god right so i was over here like ooh, like y'all like um I had a whole praise and worship, had the tears come down. Like when I tell you, it's it was just so refreshing. I was so revived. And then I was like, I was all right, right? So I was just like, okay, God, I'm giving it to you. So this morning when I was praying, when I get up and do my devotion, um, I was just doing, going through my prayers and then this came to me. Because I always say the things that you can control, you can. The things you can't, you can't. But I just took it to another level because it's like, I'm like, what happened to it? Um, hold on, y'all. Okay. Like, the things that you can control, you can. The things you can't, you can't. But the things you can't control, what do you do with that? You give it to God. So, I was praying. I was talking to God. And I was saying it. But then I was like, God, so I, this is a prayer that I have added to my prayer. I want to share it with you guys. So, you can put it in your prayer, too. I said, God, help me not to crash out. God, help me. To not focus on distractions. God help me to not give energy to situations I cannot control. God help me not to crash out. God help me not to focus on distractions. God help me to give energy. Help me not to give energies to. God help me not to give energies to situations I cannot control. Right? And then I said, God help me be mindful. Help me remember, God, help me be mindful. The things that I can't control, I can. The things I can't, I give them to you. Help me be mindful. The things that I can't control, I can. And the things I can't, I give them to you. I can't. Like, what I'm, if I can't make somebody do something. But what I can do is say, okay, Holy Spirit, God, I need you to work your magic over on this person, on that person. Whatever it is, say a whole big old prayer right not cussing nobody out and i don't know who they think i am and when i say crash out y'all i don't crash out even when i was young i wasn't a crash out type person but it's sometimes you really like who do, do you think i am <laughs> don't please don't let this like to god be the glory fool you i'm blessed fool you because i have the spirit that has been retired of space <laughs> please do not get it twisted but even then that's not the answer I'm all riled up and then what? I was in, like, then I'm now, I can't work. I can't come in here and do what I need to do for y'all. Then my energy back. I can't get on camera, bad energy and all that. So, and I just sat there. I was like, dang God, this is good. And I just wanted to share that with y'all. So, like, when we thinking about crash out, let me go back to this. I don't want y'all be like, like, I ain't busting windows and doing all that. Like, I tussles. I'm, I'm going to slap somebody real, real good. I'm going to hit you in your job. And I'm just, and I'm, I used to tussle. Yeah, I used to tussle. But I ain't never been somebody. And when I say crash out, because even now, I have too much to lose. I don't want to be online, like, going viral because I'm somewhere acting a fool over something I had no control over in the beginning. It wasn't for me to control. That's where my faith goes. That's where your faith comes in. Because you're like, God, I need you to handle this for me. And when it's handled, you can't do nothing but give him the praise. God, God needs you to handle this. And then guess what? He's going to make it so much Whatever I was trying to do, he going to make it so much better. Whether it's uh, something you don't want to do or if it's like, dang, I got to do this, I got to do this. Well, I got it. But it's going to end up being so much better. So that's where I am. The things I can What is me? The things that I can control, I can. The things that I cannot, I cannot. And I give them to God. But also I'm praying this every money, every money, every morning. God help me not to crash out. So I'm not, I'm not somewhere like spazzing on people, but it's just the mind. Because sometimes the smallest things can have you somewhere like, dang, she was mean. And then you like, well, she mean? Why are you mad at her because she mean? Pray for her. That's just pray for her. Say a prayer for her. What her being mean? She was mean to you. Well, you know what? We don't know what she had going on today. We don't know what was going on. We don't know if she didn't have no gas money. We don't know if she got any money. People getting on her nerves at this job. Yeah, she was mean. So guess what? Instead of me being like, this was mean, I ain't. I'm just going to say a prayer for her. Or this person was rude. Whatever the case is. I was going to get on here and talk about this earlier. But I was, anyways. That's, they don't want him want that. So, yeah. So, make a long story short. That's what we focusing on. I just want us to grow together. 
and just remember if nothing else you hear me in the back of your head saying the things that i can control i can the things that i cannot i'm just gonna give them to god and let god handle it baby sis take that weight up off you take that weight up off you walk in faith you can't say i'm walking by faith if you're not trusting god all you need is the size of a mustard seed y'all know how big a mustard seed is it's this big that's how much faith you need he don't, i i I tell God all the time, my faith is as big as the earth. And when I say the earth, I'm talking about how big the earth is, like in numbers or whatever. But all you need is the size of a mustard seed. Like, it's okay. Walk in faith. And sometimes we don't want to and be mad. But sometimes, like, the things that happen at the end and just that reassurance that God has you, he's hearing you, he's talking to you, he's using other people to speak to you or to make a situation better, just be grateful. Y'all, let's quit giving our energy to the things that we cannot control. We can't control it. You can't make her like you. You can't make him marry you. Them kids, they don't want to do right. Ooh, child, them kids, them kids, them kids. How you so much stressed out? Give it to God. Give it all to God. Let God be the controller of those things. You pray. You worship. You tithe. You fast. Fast. Pray. Tithe. Fast. Worship. In that order, rinse and repeat. That's what you do, and things will surely work out. Okay, y'all. Okay, so, what's today? Today is Thursday the 18th. Um, oh, is today the 18th? Mm -hmm. No, it's the 17th. Today the 17th. Oh She's something. Mm -hmm. Sorry. So, look, y'all. Cindy just brought me a matcha in here from somewhere over here. Now, um, y'all didn't see my Starbucks matcha. It was nasty. But we're going to try this together. It's from... Merit coffee is somewhere over here by the salon. Let me see. It was strawberry and it has some white stuff on it in it too. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's good. I can say it's, just, it's sweet. Oh, this is good. That's good. Okay. Yeah, it's good. I'm glad. Look, she was like, I'm, like, I don't know. I'm not picky <laughs> like you. Okay. Yeah, how she find her pencil? But I'm a picky person, so my clients know it, my friends know it, we all know it, so it's good. So, mmm, y'all, this is good. Let me toast y'all. Oh, this is real good. I just knew the stir because you know when I was at La La Land, I didn't stir. I was like, but and I'm fixing to go shampoo her hair because she might over there with color. So, oh, this is real good. Let me talk to y'all later. This real, real good. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Y'all tell Sydney thank you. I'll talk to y'all later. We're going to go to the mall in a minute because I need to go take my mouse to Apple and get back in here before my last client get here. So we'll talk to <sighs> Woo, did y'all hear that sigh? Baby, let me tell you something. Uh, today's Thursday. I told y'all that earlier. Um, Okay, y'all. So let me tell you. Y'all know I haven't been drinking Starbucks and stuff, right? So I feel like um I haven't been drinking Starbucks and all that. But I feel like matchas might be my lit drink to go to, but not all the time. Like, if I just want, like, a lit drinky drink, we're going to get us a matcha. So, I was like, oh, okay, because my matcha today was good. So, um, I'm home. Y'all, I love my clients. Shout out to my clients. My clients are the best. I appreciate each and every one of you. Those that come once a month, those you come once, once a week. I couldn't even say it right. Those of you come once a week, those of you come once a year. I appreciate each and every one of you. Shout out to y'all. My clients are the best. <laughs> now, um, um, oh, y'all got some PR. Shout out to Peach and Lily. So they had reached out to me a couple months ago, a few months ago, actually. And they was like, hey, Bridget, we got this right here. And I was like, you know, is it possible? Because you know Bridget going to be close mouths don't get fed right i was like so is it possible um i'm out of your cleanser is it possible for you to send me some cleanser and they was like yeah we're gonna send you this first and then it'll be you know down the road whatever you'll get some separately i was like i did and y'all i've been low-key waiting on my cleanser because i did a whole skincare video with they stuff without the cleanser right so um which i need to i need to Go through and take that video off of TikTok and take the watermark off of it and post it to Instagram. That's what I need to do while we talking. So, y'all, so um, I got an alert said I had a package. I'm not expecting any. You know what? I need to reach out to her about this. You know, we're going to go with the leather skirt and shirt. I'm going to reach out to her tomorrow and ask her, can we do that? Uh, the mouth. So, anyways, um, I got an alert. 
so random y'all that's how i be thinking like wait a minute and um they sent me their ginger melt oil cleanser it dissolves it clarifies and it cleans so you know this is oil cleansers are really really good to remove makeup so i'm low-key excited and for double cleansing so um oh this is pretty oh this is pretty okay oh let me see let me smell it i can't smell none here let me see what it um this is pretty peach and lily got pretty stuff um and i like i'm out of their cleanser that's like my second cleanser go-to cleanser so this is really good to remove makeup it's an oil cleanser okay look i put some um what's this hand lotion where is it oh never mind. it's in the bottom of my purse never mind okay so they sent me this which is cute it's cute the bottle is pretty so i cannot wait to use this to remove my makeup and let's see what's in it it says uh massage this is how you put a massage on to dry or damp skin rinse out thoroughly with water it can be used daily both a.m and p.m it achieves a gentle and hydrating double cleanse by following up with our power calm hydrating cleanser guess what i got over here y'all the power calm calm yeah calm if i'm saying around don't y'all start hydrating cleanser i think i'm saying it right it it's a clean ingredient it uh clean clinically effective it has a it's fragrance free no one i can smell none it's vegan cruelty free and earth focused okay um this luxurious non drying formula leaves the skin suppled and thoroughly cleansed oh, i has sunflower grapeseed and green tea oils melt and remove waterproof makeup sunscreen oil base and purity infused with ginger pineapple papaya uh skin and the skin is gently and and pampered with antioxidants and vitamins rinse off without any residue leaving behind sparkly clear refreshed skin i'm so here for it and um uh, and y'all know i love garnier cleansing water but even with the garnier cleansing water i still always i love like a oil cleanser and this is the power Come hydrating cleanser if i'm not mistaken this is the cleanser i had Hold on, y'all. Let me go see. Y'all, it was, look, empty. 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 So, this is like my second favorite cleanser. It, it leaves my skin feeling just like, I need to go live and talk about this. It leaves my skin feeling just like it felt. Um, um, it leaves my skin feeling like it does. <laughs> Excuse me. With, um when i used you to the people that's how i kind of like oh my skin feels like it's just it's like a squeaky clean and my skin is just a little bit vibrant so i like it and they always have dope peach and lily boxes or whatever yeah i think i'm gonna go live i need to move my light over here on tiktok real quick and be like look we're opening pr um so i'm finna do that huh? Cause it's been a minute since i've been live y'all it's been a minute since i've been live oh I, the song in my head is um it's about to be a celebration let's celebrate let's celebrate yeah uh kiki sheared i think and pastor mike and kurt franklin y'all think i'll be turned up in the club my right i give this i give god the holy ghost the same energy so yeah so that's what um that um i'm in here i'm about to y'all i'm just too crunk to be editing an october vlog in october y'all know how long it's like make me say it's time for this i pray for this holy spirit y'all just be wanting to run and shout like come on god but i don't want to get back behind so uh tomorrow we're not going into the salon i closed my books um i had a client she canceled i was like oh okay see y'all sorry beauty babes Woo. it is friday i can say february the 18th it is october the 18th um it is 4 p.m 
it's a little bit cool in here not cool enough for me to cut my heater on it's the cool i like to sleep in look i got my blanket sitting here so i'm in the computer room i don't know where my sweater is i gotta find my other sweater i got a couple sweaters i walk around the house in i'm in the computer room content room i'm sitting here uh let me tell y'all what i did so last night let me just tell y'all how god be doing things last night this morning because i ain't gonna tell y'all what time i went to bed last night this morning i was um when i went and met with whitney last week we talked and we was just talking about things we could do better like i gave her some suggestions she gave me some suggestions and we was talking about content she was like rigid because y'all let me give y'all the backstory at one point i have tried to like use filters um uh um what's the adobe lightroom like things to adjust your pictures and stuff uh, presets filters presets and things of that nature but i like my pictures bright like my personality is bright i like bright i'm more of an airy colorful person right y'all see the clothes and stuff i wear so i would always be trying to figure that out and then it was this app i used to use called preview app and like you could see your feed and you can kind of plan it out or whatever so fast forward to now um and i spent a lot of time periodically like trying to figure it out because i even though people say they don't like aesthetics, they like aesthetics. And me and Shaquinta was talking the other day, YouTube has an aesthetics. And I was like, because we were talking about like how, I don't went down a rabbit hole, how they like prefer certain thumbnails. And if you look at everybody's stuff, look almost the same, but it's aesthetically pleasing. And then when I started thinking about makeup videos and all this stuff, I was like, oh, dang. So people say they don't like aesthetics but they really do be looking for aesthetics and i think aesthetics just draw you in be like oh that's pretty so um one of the things i wanted to focus on was making my instagram feed more aesthetically pleasing and i think i need to work on that with my tiktok feed but tiktok is not it's easy i just gotta put the picture in there but um i did that last night y'all my feed i should have did a before and after um i think i got a picture on my phone my feed looks really good and i did up to like 11 rows but i think i'm gonna go a little bit further but because of how i was just posting stuff like some of the pictures anyways so that's that and the whole thing is is god just really was like showing me like how creative i was y'all and i'm over here deleting pictures i'm cleaning out my ipads because i need I like, I'm an organized person. I got pictures everywhere. I got videos everywhere. Stuff I'm not, I, some stuff I know I'm not posting. It's stuff I know I'm not going to use, but I need something. So I have my work iPad. Um, I'm taking everything off and then I'm putting pictures over there. Like my phone is, my phone, my storage is almost full on my phone. But my iPads, I have like 500 gigs, 512 on both of them. So I'm just moving stuff around, which has been a little bit more tedious than what I had wanted it to be. But I completely cleared one ipad like it, and it's still saying like i'm using 100 gigs but i think that's like an apps and i went through and deleted a whole bunch of apps off that i don't use and i'm just excited i just thank god because he reminded me like and i really feel like in 2022 that's when i like was really because the end of 2021 going into 2022 so like i was like i gotta get this i gotta figure it out that's when my business started to slow down that's when god really started talking to me and tapping into me about content creating y'all i got some dope pictures that's some dope content i made like a brunch security boy baby i put that, that right there that's that's a that's a whole conversation with the holidays like i don't need the video but i definitely had on pictures and had mimosas in it y'all look let me put this picture up so y'all can see y'all look at these pictures i think the chicken was chicken in, and that's when grand lux had the best chicken wings that's when i love grand lux chicken wings because Y'all know I love some chicken. But, y'all, Tyrone was like, oh, my God, I was up all night. Like, let me tell y'all, this is when I was really learning how to use my cameras, learning my lighting, and just things to shoot and how to shoot. I was making uh, Christmas drinks. I was making Thanksgiving drinks. Like, I was in a season and doing things. Tyrone was up. He was like, Mama, when you going to be finished? Mama, when you going to be finished? Right when I finished... When I finish that, let me tell you, baby Tyrone, Tyrone, I'm about to say that boy whole name. Tyrone was like, man, he told him, he said, oh, mom, that, that brunch charcuterie board, we eat chicken wings for a couple days. We had brunch for a couple days. The waffles, the bacon, everything. It was so good. So I just was like reminded, like not to doubt myself. And I just want to tap back into that creative side. And y'all are going to get to see, y'all are definitely get to see it.
happy Saturday. Hey, beauty babes. It is Saturday, October the 19th. Y'all see my eyes are slow, baby. Woo, child. I'm tired. Um, I've been down here trying to edit. I ain't did nothing. I done, um, I've been down here watching football. I watched Colorado when I got off of work. They won. Shout out to... <laughs> I have to say Jack State. Shout out to Coach Prime and them kids, them babies over there ball today. And then um, I've been watching... Baby's hurt on me. I've been watching um, Jackson's. <laughs> I keep saying Jackson State, Arkansas. And Arkansas is playing LSU. LSU winning. So, And then I've been watching um, the Texas-Georgia game. My client's a big Georgia fan, so I decided to watch the game. And i just been scrolling, y'all. I'm tired. Like, when I be tired like this, I don't like to try to edit. Um i just been sitting down here. I wish I should have went and sat on the couch. If I would have sat on the couch, I'd be asleep. But normally when I walk in here, like, what I like about how my stuff is set up now, like, mentally, I know when I come in here, it's time to work. It ain't no nothing. It's time to work. And when I go in the living room, my body know, like, it's time to unwind. So, um... That didn't work. It was like, girl, we tired. So, y'all not get up super duper early. And I wasn't even, like, super busy. It's just, like, just standing up on my feet. My feet hurt. It's just the whole process. I'm not complaining. But I'm tired. Y'all see my eyes is low. Like, my mimosa was, like, this much. Like, this much. So, it's not even like I had a whole bunch. Uh, damn, it's another game finna come on. Uh, it's not even like I had, like, like I've been drinking. I'm just tired. And, um, oh, speaking of drinks, shout out to Felicia. She bought me some rum back. She asked me, she had coconut, she had a bunch, and she going, she got that from the Virgin Islands. I asked her, cause, uh, my son ain't here, so I can try to get my bar back up. I asked her to bring me some, um, vanilla and coconut rum. She's going back. Shout out to her. Thank you. And, um, yeah, yeah, so I'm finna go to bed. I just want to jump on here and say, hey, this week, um, was an amazing week to give a recap. It was very tiring, though. It was, like, a little, like, I worried a lot this week. I was so focused on my move, but in the process of worrying, I came out with a prayer. Like, I already say, like, you know, anything worth, not anything worth having, you got to work hard for. Um, the things that you can control, you can't, things you can't, you can't, you know. So, to kind of put that into a prayer was kind of deep for me. And to share it with other people, to share with you guys and some other people that had been, like, worrying about things they couldn't control. So, that was it. So, um, work week was good. One of my clients came back, y'all. She had came to me before she got a, her hair cut out, but she wouldn't let me cut it short, short, short. Y'all, she got her pixie pixie, and she wanted all the little uh, Betty Boop waves down her forehead and curls. It was real cute. I'm going to put a picture here. It was real, real cute. Um, That was fun. I love doing I like pixies, like old school, Holly Berry, Melinda Williams. Pixie, that's like my juice, but um, we'll definitely talk tomorrow. We're gonna go to church. I don't know what I'm wearing, probably put on some sweats or something. Um, and that's pretty much it. And oh, I was trying to order my boxes off of Walmart, but um, Walmart was tripping. 